Hello, welcome to my first tutorial, uh, four-part series. Um, we're going to be making a, a Telecaster-style guitar um, with a couple contours on it um, to demonstrate using um, Rhino, Vector Cut 3D, and VCar Pro all in conjunction for making guitars. Um, we're going to start. I'm going to have to do everything really fast to get this going uh, under 10 minutes for YouTube. Um, what I have here is a two-dimensional DFX file, Telecaster. I uh, played around with the curves a little bit. I uh, developed a little neck pocket here, a um, couple pickup routes, control cavity route. Um, we actually won't be doing anything with those in Rhino. We'll just do that in Vectric uh, VCar Pro. Uh, what we're going to do is make our solid body model, or more mainly our contour models. To do that, I'm going to start by selecting the outer um, curve of the guitar there. I'm going to hit surface. Extrude curve straight. Um, I'm going to come down to this angle here. I'm going to press cap, yes. It's going to build surfaces on the top and bottom. I'm going to click on direction. I'm going to come anywhere in here. And because I have my snaps on, we'll click two points, the second point being directly below the first point to um, get the direction so it'll build the surface straight down off of the zero Z axis. I'm going to come here and you can see my distance is already set at 1.65. However, I'll type it in here to demonstrate. I can just type the distance in there and it'll build that surface. Now when it builds that surface, it's going to, because I clip, um, clicked the cap command, it's going to build a top and bottom surface. And so we pretty much have the body there um, how we want it. Okay, next step. We're going to put in a little armrest contour here. Now the way I do this is I develop a surface from three or four points. It doesn't really matter how big it is, just so it's big enough to cover um, this bottom portion of the guitar. I'm going to select it. Let's make sure that that's lined up with our top surface, which it should be. I'm going to hit bend. And click on the left side and then the right side here. I'm going to come into this viewport. And you can see when I bend this towards the end how it does it's pretty much an even curvature to that surface. Um, I really don't want that. I want it a little bit more flatter towards the edge of the guitar. So let's come in and click about there. And you can see it's going to start bending and then flatten out a little bit in this area. Okay, I'm going to take that surface that I created and I'm going to twist it or rotate it should say a twist. Rotate it to around the angle I want, let's say about here. And then let's line this up on the guitar and look at it in a perspective view. Okay. Looks pretty good. It's going to cut away this portion of the guitar here and develop our little armrest contour. Now what I'm going to do very quickly is collect, select this poly surface that we created here and I'm going to cut it or split it with this surface we created. And it says split failed. Now the reason it failed most likely is because of this area is not outside the edge of the guitar. So we're going to move that a little bit. It's just outside that edge. And let's try it again real quick. Select this poly surface. Select split, select that, split into two pieces. So we had successful split. Okay, now next, we need to select this surface, and split it with this poly surface. All right. Now, we need to do deselect everything and start selecting the parts we don't want basically which is going to be those two pieces. Now you can see what's left over is the remaining part of the curvature. Cut away the rest and we've now made our armrest. The next step is I'm going to make a quick belly contour um, that's going to be underneath the guitar in here. Now I'm going to do this very quickly and somewhat sloppily. 
uh, by making a solid sphere. I'm going to start it about there. Let's make it about, I find about two to three times the size of the guitar. I'm going to need to make it come in here, quickly move it down. You can see here kind of where it's going to intersect the sides here. I'm going to use the same technique of cutting away out a little bit. Cutting away the bottom of the guitar with the sphere. Okay, let's go ahead and select this poly surface. Select cut or split, I should say. Okay. You can see cut away the, some of the bottom of the guitar there. Now, of course, I need to leave that skin of the sphere to create that surface. So we'll do another split. And we should have it. Okay, now we will deselect everything. We'll delete this, delete that, and we have a little belly contour. A little bit of a radical one, but for this, I'm not too concerned about being perfect. I'm concerned about teaching you the methods to do this. Okay, now here's the tricks to making this work in Cut 3D and VCard Pro. What I need to do for each surface is build another small surface that will create the depth we need for this to line up in VCard Pro. To do that, I'm going to take make a small box that is, you know, it doesn't really matter um, how big it is. It just needs to be lined up um, for the top contour. It needs to be lined up on the bottom. It needs to fit inside, coming from the top angle, this curve, or surface, I should say. Okay, so I'm going to have this box selected here. Now this part's a little confusing, you'll see why later. I'm going to select this box and the top curve, top surface. I'm going to File, Save As. No, oh, that's incorrect. Come to File, Export Selected. Now we're going to want to select um, Wave Front, File. And we're going to call it Front Contour. You can see I already uh, had one of those before. I'm going to go ahead and save over it because I've messed up the last try at this tutorial. Um, now for this bottom contour, I need to make another box. It lines up on the bottom. Okay, that one's like way too big, so let's get rid of that. Let's do it again. Box. need to make sure the box is lined up on the top surface. What I'm doing is I'm going to, I'm somewhat tricking Cut 3D into thinking we have a surface or contours that are that deep. But of course they're not going to machine. You'll see how that works later. Okay, so I have bottom contour selected. I have my box selected. File. Export selected. Objective. Bottom contour, export. Okay, that's all we need to do right now in Rhino. This DFX file and everything will get imported into vCarve. Um, we're going to go in next, next tutorial and figure out our tool paths for these two contours right here. Okay, we'll see you next time.